Hello everybody and welcome back to my series where we talk about classical mythology while I crochet. Today we're going to have a little impromptu event session about Paris the Trojan Prince because even though I am on the Trojan side of the war, I despise him. He is the worst. He is cowardly. He can't do anything for himself. And I think it is a huge travesty that Achilles fell to his bow. Honestly, Paris should not have made it past his infancy because when that prophecy came about that he would be the ruin of the city, there were no gods involved in the same way that they're involved later. Nobody would have been offended had baby Paris not survived. So they should have been a little bit more active than leaving him out for exposure because as I've said in my videos before, that never works. They get raised by somebody else or a wild beast. I laid out my reasons yesterday for why I think Priam didn't take out adult Paris when he came back with the abducted Helen. However, what he could have done was push for a single combat between Paris and Menelaus because we do not see that happening until the events of the Iliad, which is 10 years into the war. If this whole thing started over a love triangle, why did it take that long? You should have pushed him out onto the battlefield a lot sooner. And the fact that he didn't want to go is continually a point between him and Helen. She's like, you're a fucking coward. Why did I leave with you? When he did enter that single combat, he started losing pretty badly. And Aphrodite, because she favored him, just plucks him out of the battlefield, takes him to his bedroom, and has Helen go nurse his wounds and love on him a little bit. What a little bitch, okay? Honestly, Aphrodite was even working against her own interests here because she has a son, Aeneas, in Troy, and he is destined to go on and found Rome in a way. I know it's really Romulus and Remus, but he's the one who finds the land, and she made it harder for him in a way. Like, if the war had ended in that single combat between Paris and Menelaus, Sure, there might have still been some chaos and destruction, but not quite as much as the Greeks getting into the city via horse and burning the whole thing down, taking out all of the men, only bringing the women and the kids back to be slaves and war brides. I totally have to admit I'm a little bit fuzzy on what happens after the Iliad, but I believe some versions have Achilles falling in love with the Trojan princess and King Priam agrees to allow her to marry him thinking this is going to start an alliance. It's going to be the end of the war. But what does Paris do? Him and one of his brothers hide out and take out Achilles from afar. The arrow was guided by Apollo, so he couldn't even do that himself. Other versions have him doing it from on top of the walls. I know the movie Troy would have you believe that it happened within the city during the whole chaos of the Trojan horse part. Achilles never saw the inside of Troy. And for him to be taken out by, I would say a cheap shot, but since Apollo was the one who did it, I guess it's not so cheap, just feels wrong, especially for him to be taken out by such a coward. God!